Awesome. Hey, everyone. Welcome to this 11th edition of the RSK Ecosystem Update. Apologies for some of the technical issues. Uh, we've got a quite an exciting, exciting one today, and we'll jump right in it just to, to keep, keep with the time. Um, as an introduction, my name is uh, Michael Mendez. I'm DeFi Account Manager at Ivy Labs. And representing us today is a very exciting, um, exciting panel. First up, we've got Blindex, which is a multi-asset uh, a multi-asset uh, platform. Uh, very excited about the team. They're doing amazing work. Um, we've got Omer who will be uh, representing the Blindex team. Followed up is the quality, which is a regular brand and name within RSK. I personally use the the uh, quality wallet. Love the features that they bring. Simon will do, will be doing a bit of an intro and just talking through a couple of the features and functionality within within the the non custodial wallet. And finally, we have. Crypto Testament, which is a fantastic little service uh, for those that that know uh, the non-custodial uh, the non-custodial ways. If you forget your password, or if you forget your keys, or your seed phrase, let's say you don't have the the, the ability of of getting those funds back, so you basically lose everything that's with that's within the wallet. Crypto Testament solves for for this, so that's very exciting, and we have Wallace. Uh, representing Crypto Testament as both founder as well as developer, so crypto entrepreneur. Um, so starting off, we'd love to um, hand over through to Omer from Blindex. We'll be talking more about the, the Blindex platform. I um, mean, very exciting. Like I said, very strong team. And if we could give Omer those, the, the host rights. I think we've got everyone on the call. We just need uh, just a mirror. <laughs> awesome. Thank you. Amir, so talk hey, us mate. through the Blindex platform. I know you've got also have a presentation ready. Really looking forward. We're really looking forward to this. Great. Um, so I'm I'm very excited to, excited to joining the, the call here and joining the community. Um, we launched our platform two months ago on our scale, and we already seen great uh, traction. Um, but let's let, let me tell you a little bit about what Blindex is and what we are inspiring to do. Um, let's see if I can share my screen. Um, can you guys see my um, my presentation? Not yet. Mm, let's try. Oh yeah. There you go. All right, great. So what is Blindex? Blindex is. Um, First of all, it's a very unique um, platform in, 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 the, in the crypto landscape. We are a multi-asset, stablecoin, DeFi platform. We want to tokenize everything. Essentially, we build a platform that it's very easy and very scalable to create uh, new stablecoins. And when I'm talking about stablecoins, I'm talking about currencies, I'm talking about commodities, I'm talking about bonds and stocks. Uh, and indexes, and even real estates, and the uh, and metaverse stable coins. So everything that we, that every, every financial asset in the traditional world, we can create a stable coin for. Um, and essentially, our users can mint, can swap, can trade, can invest with without any concern of FX uh, peg the FX uh, um, interest rates. Or, or any kind of uh, inflation rates for you know the different currencies. They just need to use their own native currency in a stablecoin form or their own favorite digital asset in a stablecoin form. So right now, I'm actually very proud to announce that we are launching tomorrow two new stablecoins uh, to join our, uh, our uh, expanding basket of stablecoins. Right, right now we have uh, two stable coins that are already active for the last two months, BDUS and BDU, which is which are uh, USD stable coin and Europex stable coin. And we are launching tomorrow two new stable coins that are going to uh, to be promoted uh, worldwide: a Br British pound stable coin and the first ever gold peg stable coin that is backed by BTC and if. So that's something that nobody ever done in the industry ever. Um, but basically, what's what's uh, what's defined Blindex? 
Um, we are a fully decentralized platform. So everything that we are doing from the core is 100% decentralized. That's why we first launched on, on our SK, one of the one of the most decentralized network out, out there. Um, even our even our backend is based on a cloud infrastructure that is decentralized, a, dec a decentralized cloud provider that is called StackOS. Uh, we are building multi-assets stable coins in a platform. So it's not only one stable coin or two stable coins that, that we can provide. We can provide mul multiple uh, stable coins out there. Uh, essentially, we are we are unstoppable. So everything that we are doing uh, is not is not connected to any centralized service. Um, you can be blacklisted, or you can be you know uh, downgraded, or, or censored, or, or anything like that. And no more over collateralization. So we rely on those uh, on three three main pillars: the decentralization, uh, the multi asset, and the other collateralization. Uh, of, of our digital assets. Um, essentially, our, in, in our core, we are partially collateralized and algorithmically stabilized. That's how we basically build our stable coins, uh, backing them with, with essential and meaningful collateral in the form of BTC or if, and combining that with an algorithmic token, BDX, which is our utility and governance token in the platform. Um, and, it, and we're not stopping there. So essentially, we started with establishing multiple assets, pegged uh, stable coins. We started with currencies. Uh, we are now expanding the, the basket of currencies. Uh, we, we started providing uh, a, a liquidity, liquidity provision services and swap services, and also staking uh, rewards for people that, for users that are, that are uh, providing liquidity in the platform. Uh, and now we are we are even ex expanding um, to more. We are we are going multi-chain. We are adding tools that will help in uh, earn more interest. We are creating inter interoperability inside uh, uh, within RSK and and partnering with more and more partners within the RSK ecosystem, like Bubblefish. We added a BDUS into XUSD um, uh, index or, or, or basket. And which add more flexibility and more usage to our uh, to our own stable coins. We're gonna list more and more of our tokens in the in the uh, ever you know in the expanding uh, RSK Dex as ecosystem. And and at the end we want to tokenize everything. Um, so so what does it mean basically tokenize everything? Obviously, currencies is the most used and, uh, and popular use case of stable coins, but it doesn't have to stop there. Uh, we can take it into commodities like gold and silver and oil. We can create stable coins that are pegged to stocks and bonds like Microsoft pegs, uh, Microsoft stock pegged a uh, stable coin or uh, Google pegged a uh, stable coin that essentially peg the stable coin is essentially pegging and reflecting the price of the actual asset. You don't need to own the actual asset. You just need to mirror that asset and you can invest in a virtual asset, in a, in a simulant asset out there. Um, and if, even, even a, a base, essentially our imagination is the only thing that stops us for imagine, for, uh, to take us into the next step. We can even take it into places like real estate. So if you want to peg a stable coin to the prices of real estate, uh, in a specific area, if you want to say to to peg your investment, uh, your your saving to the price of a of a, of of a specific real estate area, in order for you to be able to purchase a, an asset, an apartment, a house in, in in that place, so you can do that by creating by creating a um a a, a, a correlated stablecoin that will reflect the price of that uh, real estate area. Uh, we can even, if we dream on, we can even create a stablecoin that is that can reflect the price of an NFT, or or the price of the cost of living in a specific metaverse. So the possibilities are endless, and we, and we want to create a, a platform that will be permissionless and will allow anyone on the on the planet create any kind of of digital asset that they want in a stablecoin form, and to invest it and to use it in in all kind of DeFi uh, DeFi services. And and to and to 
dream on and beyond uh, is, wild, is the wildest dream that, that, that you can. Um, we also rely on our, our platform on, on our BDX token. So the BDX is our utility and governance token. There will be only 21, uh, 21 million uh, tokens out there ever. Um, most of those tokens are basically dedicated to our um, to our, to our mining program, to our to our, uh, to our liquidity reward mi mining program, and you can you can you can check our to tokenomics in our in our docs, and we would love to discuss that in our uh, Discord and Telegram group. So I invite you to join in the fun and and come and con contribute to the stablecoin uh, community. Um, I want to I want to take you, Mike. If I have a few few extra minutes, I want to take you to a short uh, demonstration on how Blindex platform looks like um so let me let me know uh let me know if you can basically check uh, see my screen i uh, see and the presentation see, for now you see the presentation yep. so i'm trying i'm trying to share my screen okay no All right. Can you see my screen now? Just give it a minute. There you go. It's uh, loading up 100%. Yes. So this is our this is our nice and uh, and, and cool dashboard where you can see basically this, the statistics of all our uh, stable coins. Uh, you can see that you can see our pegging. You can see that our that uh, basically our pegging is very very accurate and very and very uh, uh, stable. Our BDX uh, stati statistics, uh, the different uh, stablecoins on the system, the BDUS, um, the uh, the worth of, of the BDX at, at any any given moment, the total supply, the market cap, the collateral ratio, and so on and so on. And then you can scroll down and see more and more stablecoins. We have our minting page where you actually can go and mint new stablecoins. I recommend anyone to try it out. Um, you can select which stablecoins do you want to mint. If it's a BDU or BDUS, uh, for now, tomorrow there will be uh, more. You can select the um, collateral that, that, that you that you want to use, either RBTC or if, let's say, I want to mint hundred dollars worth of BDUS, then um, uh, this is the amount of collateral that I will need to provide, and uh, and together, coupled with that, I will also need to provide uh, a small amount of BD access. Depends on the collateral ratio. Of each uh, stablecoin, so uh, in this case, I need to provide additional 5.3 uh, BD access, which I can get them from our swaps. So don't be shy. Go to our swaps. Get get your favorite tokens. You can uh, you can uh, swap between RBTC and if and XUSD to uh, to whatever token that that you want uh, out there. You can also uh, after minting or swapping, you can also provide liquidity. In the system, enjoy um, getting uh, enjoy uh, getting a swap fees and uh, and go to our staking page and stake those liquidity uh, tokens, those LP tokens. If you stake those LP tokens, you 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 can be rewarded with very high uh, high end APRs. Uh, even four digit APRs are waiting for you guys. So lock those LP tokens in uh, and and enjoy. Part of the fun in uh, in uh, in being part of Blindex community and providing uh, providing liquidity, providing more options to the uh, RSK community. So I think that's it from my, from my side. I hope that that was clear, Mike. If you have any question, let me know. Or, yeah. or guys, you can also write in the comments here, and I'm happy to answer. There is a uh, uh, there is a comment, uh, but I just want to ask you a couple of things as well. Um, for Blindex, the community is very important. Maybe just talk about how the gold and BD uh, pound was um, was added on. That was through sure. a community vote. Yeah, yeah, sure. So we are now in the process of building our, our own DAO that will essentially at the at the end will will manage the uh, Blind Blindex platform by its own. So we want to move all the responsibility to the DAO to manage everything. Uh, we are doing it slowly, slowly but uh, but surely. And what we did as a first step, we allowed we allowed the DAO to decide which tokens 
will be the will, will, which uh, which currencies or commodities will be the next stable coins that that we're going to launch and out of that voting came up the british pound and the gold uh, uh, out so yeah awesome. that's very okay. exciting i i loved i love uh, communicating with the community we love we love getting the feedback and we love getting the the evolve the involvement of the community in the project I'm definitely one of the community and that's why I appreciate, you know, the constant updates and everything. So it's uh, really great to see. Appreciate, appreciate the time. There is a comment uh, inside here. I think it might be best if we, if you could perhaps answer that in, in the chat itself, just, uh, just for, for a matter of time. Um, sure. would, would you be okay with that? Yeah. Yeah. hundred percent. Perfect. Thanks. Thanks, Amir. Uh, 